Everyone dreams about a nice romantic fairy tale, or more specifically, a Cinderella story. And while we do not have a missing glass shoe, the Bhutan royal love story has the world sighing in admiration. King Jigma Kesar Namgyal Wangchuk does know how to keep the news line going with his close to perfect marriage with his beautiful wife, Jetson Pema. However, unlike the fairy tale stories, this love has broken real life traditions that have been for centuries, and there might just be consequences for their actions. Or maybe not. The question holds now is this love worth it? When we get to the hook of the love story, don't hesitate to drop your thoughts in the comment section below. And of course, like and subscribe to this channel. In between the regions of China and India is a country named Bhutan. However, unlike the civilization of its neighboring countries, this small region, often referred to as the land of the thunder dragon, was more like ancient times, with little technology and growth. Its traditions are as old as the hills and when it comes to a royal marriage, one can compare it to the marriages of the old times. The customs are that old. For a very long time, royal love stories in Bhutan weren't precisely like choose your adventure. No, marriage was more akin to a carefully scripted opera in which tradition played a central part. It was evident in the life of the previous king and the kings before him. With a culture as vibrant as its prayer flags, Bhutan is a hidden jewel tucked in the Himalayas. Their bright festivals, captivating dances, and intricate architecture that evokes bygone eras are examples of their prowess at maintaining their legacy. Furthermore, Buddhism is the predominant religion in Bhutan. It's a lifestyle, not merely a place where the monks sit in meditation on hazy mountaintops. All they do, even how they see marriage and the customs that have been passed down through the decades, is influenced by their deeply held beliefs. So when Jigma chose love before tradition, it had millions of people talking and interested. So what makes royal marriages so significant? Bhutan's customs were, well, rigorous and uncompromising, almost like a handbook for love. To preserve unity and lineage purity within the royal family, the monarchy upheld the long-standing custom of arranging marriages. However, it is not the arranged marriage that is the problem, at least for Jigme. It is the fact that polygamy was the norm in Bhutan. King Jigme's father married four women at once. What's interesting is that these women, his wives, were sisters. It is customary that when the king wants to marry into a family that has several daughters, he marries all of them at once. Jigme was not having this. Not only did he marry only one wife, he did the unspeakable of getting married outside the royal line. True love indeed, or was it just a man being rebellious? So what's the story here? <laughs> The two had met years back when the young crown prince of Bhutan, Prince Jigma, was only 17 years old and Queen Jetson was much younger, being just seven. He had been mesmerized by her dance performance during the party in the palace and had walked up to her and said confidently, When you grow up, I will marry you. She replied gently, only if I don't meet someone better or you forget. Years went by and the little encounter was long forgotten by everyone. Prince Jigma furthered his education beyond Bhutan, following his education at Oxford University where he backed his degree in political science, he attended several schools including those in the United States and Bhutan. Due to his vast knowledge and progressive ideas from other parts of the world, he was quite popular among his people for his modern attitude, approachability, and dedication to his nation's progress. Born into a well-respected Bhutanese family with her father as a pilot, young Jetson Pema also grew up with a good foundation. 
Like the young prince, she also had her share of good education, coming out with a degree in international relations from a good university in India. Prince Jigme became the king of Bhutan in 2006 when his father decided to retire, making him the youngest king at the age of 26 years old. Four years later, fate brought the two together. It was at a family picnic on a beautiful day when he was mesmerized again by a young beauty who wasn't just graceful in her way, but also intelligent and was quite vast in how the world works. For one, the king didn't forget his promise to her, and for the other, she hadn't met anyone better. They were just right for each other, and it was as though the heavens wanted them together. In no time, there was news that there would be a wedding that made everyone happy. It wasn't just because it was a royal wedding, it was more because it was one of the few, if not the only royal wedding, that would be made public against the very secluded royal weddings in the past. It wasn't until nine years after the fourth king of Bhutan, Jigme Singye Wangchuk's wedding, that the whole country got to know he was married, and the four wives he was married to. That was just the tradition. And I must thank the people for all their good wishes. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you. So not only had King Jigma broken the rules of privacy by making his wedding public, he had also refused to marry more than one wife, especially his wife's sisters. For him, that tradition, as many to him, was outdated. However, his brother had taken up one of Jetson's sisters as his wife just to cover this broken tradition his brother caused because of love. On the 11th of October 2011, King Jigme got married to Jetson Pema and had a lavish but strict traditional wedding, and afterward placed the crown on her head, making her the Queen of Bhutan. However, this wasn't the highlight of the whole ceremony. As the event went on and Jigme showed the world his new queen, he did the unthinkable by kissing his young wife on her lips. For many, especially non-Bhutans, this should not be any problem, but for the residents of Bhutan and the traditionalists of the state, this was quite shocking. <laughs> the fact is that public displays of affection are forbidden in Bhutan. If this had happened probably a century ago, it could have sent one to an underground prison. However, this was the king, and not just any king, but a king in love with his wife. Showing the world his love for his wife was worth breaking the social prohibition that had lasted centuries. Even before their wedding, Jigma and Pema had been seen holding hands on the street while on a walk. The new couple changed a lot of traditions after their marriage. For one, they became closer to the people as they were easy to access. Their random walks on the streets gave people a chance to make personal requests and also suggestions to their leader. The people also felt safe around them because they seemed so normal. Not only were they doing things an average man would do, but they also lived in a nice one-story house as opposed to the royal palace their ancestors lived in. Not too long after their marital union, the royal couple took a tour around the country participating in social works that they could. And in every public meeting, King Jigma never hesitates to be close to his wife. This is also a strange act as the king is expected to have some distance from his wife. Thus, another tradition was broken. However, the residents of the country could care less about these broken traditions. They were loved by the whole country. Later on, like a blessing from the heavens, the royal couple had their first son and the apparent crown prince, Prince Kesar. It is reported that even at birth, King Jigma was beside his wife as he was worried. Because the news of the prince was a joyful one, his parents wanted to share this bundle of joy with the public. So five days after his birth, his picture was shown to the world. Remember how it is tradition to keep the details of the royal family in private? It just shows again that King Jigma and Queen Jetson had outgrown these traditions 
and wanted the people they ruled to be a part of their lives. Four years later, they had their second son, who they named Ungyan. As time went by, King Jigme, supported greatly by his queen, gradually brought in technology. They saw the growth of hospitals as well as other technological growth in the country. For a country that couldn't boast of having even a black and white television three to four decades ago, there seemed to be such rapid growth. Not only has he brought technological solutions to Bhutan, but he also created relationships with the Western world that could help the present and future state of the country. One could wonder if King Jigme could have achieved all of these achievements alone if he hadn't had a good support from a loving partner. What do you think? Seeing the present state of Bhutan, do you think traditions need to be broken? Was love worth breaking traditions? And did true love win at all? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you liked the video, do like, share, and subscribe.